Namaste guys, welcome to ITECO. Today I'll be showing you how to root your Lenovo A6000. So let's get started with it. Some prerequisites for this is you need to take a backup of all your data because rooting on your phone will wipe all your data and it will be as new as your factory usated device or a new device which you buy and the second thing is you need to have at least 80% of charge on your phone the third thing is you need to go to your phone and enable usb debugging so i'll show you that how to do it go to settings first go to about phone here in the device information you need to click on build number for seven times so that you enable your developer options once you have enabled it just go back and you'll get the developer options here scroll down below and you what you need to do is check usb debugging to check whether the phone is rooted or not we need to download an app called as root checker from play store so I'll go to play store and search for root checker sorry for the spelling mistakes and this is the app with the hash green tick I'll be right back once the download is done. Go into the root check app. Agree to the disclaimer and now verify root. And here we get the message sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device. So, this is a proof that the device is not yet rooted. Let's go on to the PC. You need some files for rooting your phone. So here are those files. I'll leave the download links of these files in the description below. So check them out and keep them downloaded and then follow this video. First thing what you need to do is extract this Lenovo A6000 recovery over here. Second thing is you need to install minimal ABD, ADD fastboot. Run. And you click on next, 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 and you're done. Click on install to install it. I have to install it already, so I don't need to install it again. The third thing you need to do is copy the beta super SD to your phone. So connect your phone to the USB, connect your phone via USB, and just copy that file onto your internal storage like this. Next thing what you need to do is copy uh, this recovery file which you extracted into the folder which is in program files minimal ADB possible. Just copy it over here. And now we are good to go. For the first time, when you connect your device to the uh, to the laptop uh, via USB, and when you are asked for installation of ADB, you need to click on OK from your mobile phone. So now we'll just click on the py command here. That is cmd window is open now. Here, type in ADB devices. It checks whether our device is properly connected or not. Yes, it shows. Please. See, this is the device which is connected that is Lenovo 6000 now second thing what we need to do is ADB reboot boot loader let it is ADB reboot boot loader so let us do it now we can when we type ADB reboot boot loader our phone reboots 
now the third thing what we need to do is type in fast boot boot recovery dot img and it's finished now it's booting up and now i'll just switch over to my phone to show you the fourth thing now simply disconnect your usb cable and we are on to the twrp that is custom recovery is installed now now all we need to do is go to install and then we need to go to our internal storage where we have copied our super issue file if you have had copied your super issue beta file onto your internal storage then it must have wiped now because the phone is rooted now so what you need to do is copy your super issue file again onto your phone via usb cable by connecting it to the laptop after twrp installation and after copying your super issue file onto your phone just go to install and then you need to browse to your sd card here it is and then you need to select your beta super issue and just swipe to confirm the flash like this and it will be done within few seconds and again make sure you wipe your calvic cache and dalvik cache once you get the successful message just go back and now reboot your system finally we have installed our custom twrp recovery and while flashing super su we have now rooted our phone here is the lenovo boot animation and now it will set up the phone first this is usually time consuming so you need to be patient and you need to be less panicky I'll be right back after it boots. The phone is rebooted now and the routing is completed. And it has booted up and now you can see that Android is upgrading. After the upgrading is complete, our phone is good to go. Let me come back once this setup is done and I'll show you the status of root via root checker. Finally the phone has booted. I have installed the root checker again and now let's see whether our phone is rooted or not. So let's go to root checker again. I'll agree to the terms. And now let's verify the root. And since it's asking for super SU permission, it's rooted. Congratulations. So that's it guys your phone is now rooted hope you liked the video if you liked our content do hit like button share our content subscribe to our channel for more and if you have any doubts regarding this do mention them in the comment section below thank you guys